In his maiden speech to the United Nations General Assembly, President Rukinyata took the wild leaders through elaborate steps that Kenya has taken to secure the region and ensure stability. The president said the world is currently confronted with a myriad of challenges ranging from epidemics, terrorism and climate change which need to be tackled collectively. We must commit to build strong, resilient and accountable states that can effectively respond to shocks, adversities and emergencies in the future. The head of state also used the occasion to sell the Jubilee's achievements, saying his administration has re-engineered the system of governance, making it more democratic, inclusive, devolved, and responsive to the needs of the people of Kenya. In 2010, we adopted a new democratic constitution which expanded and guaranteed a wider range of rights for our people and defined new institutions for the advancement of those rights. President Kenyatta lauded the United Nations, saying it has not only offered employment opportunities to Kenyans, but has also enabled Kenya to participate in various international achievements. Meanwhile, President Kenyatta says Kenya Airways will resume flights to areas affected by the deadly Ebola virus once appropriate measures are put in place. President Kenyatta said the outbreak of Ebola in West Africa, with devastating effects, was not just a health tragedy, but also an economic and security threat to the continent. The Ebola crisis underlies the imperative to build strong states that can withstand crisis and respond to emergencies. President Kenyatta says because of weaker economic states, the continent cannot withstand economic shocks brought about by terrorism, epidemics and political instabilities. Terrorist actors are exploiting the expanded democratic space, sometimes feeding into and even influencing local politics. Unless we can provide an effective buffer to fight back this tendency, Kenya and indeed other countries will find it difficult to entrench democracy and the post-2015 development agenda. Kenya banned all flights to Ebola hit West Africa in August to reduce spread risks. The president was speaking during the ongoing United Nations General Assembly in New York.